slasher movies have been around longer than I thought. While movies like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Black Christmas got the head rolling, popularity often came in waves. There are honestly more teenage slasher movies than I could ever remember. But the golden age began in 1978 with John Carpenter's Halloween. Before Jason, before Chucky and Freddy, Michael Myers relentlessly stalked and killed teenagers, gaining a cult status, generating sequel after sequel. Some were popular, some not so much. The 2000s saw a renewed interest in the slasher, rebooting classic characters for a new generation. But why fix what isn't broken? Halloween was already rebooted once by Rob Zombie, and it was... disappointing. David Gordon Green updates the classic, but not with another pointless reboot, but rather a carefully placed sequel. This is Halloween. Again. Alright, this movie pretends Halloween 2 through Infinity never existed. This is a sequel to the original 1978 movie. Think of it as an alternate timeline. It picks up 40 years later, with Michael Myers locked up after being captured right after the first movie, gets out and heads to Haddonfield for some unfinished business. That unfinished business is survivor Laurie Stroud, once again played by Jamie Lee Curtis. But instead of a helpless screaming co-ed, this time Laurie is a paranoid survivalist who's ready for Michael's return. But is she ready enough? I went into this after having a Halloween movie marathon, and something I noticed about the other sequels, they seem to, pardon the expression, bleed together. I needed this movie to bring something different. Sure, keep some of the elements of the original, but bring something new. You get a typical cast of teenagers who do teenage things, and to me, they were the least interesting characters in this movie. Moving on. The heart of this movie is Jamie Lee Curtis and I love what they did with her character. Now she's obsessed. She's paranoid. She's trained herself how to fight. She's suffering from PTSD. She's messed up. But she's also brought to a level where she can face Michael Myers. And of course Michael is just being Michael, so no complaints there. In fact, he seems more brutal than ever. One of the problems I had with Rob Zombie's movie was they gave Michael a backstory. At times, he was a victim of abuse, bullying, everyone around him was just plain nasty. They humanized Michael Myers. That took a lot of the mystery away. And some moments even made him the good guy. Now we're back to Michael being an enigma. He's cold, brutal, unstoppable, and in no way human. He's not even a monster so much as a force of nature. There's no understanding him, there's no bargaining, no pity, no remorse. The very definition of a killing machine. He also gets his mask back. 40 years and the latex is deteriorating, but it kind of gives the mask an aged look. 40 years later, that would put Michael in his 60s. He's still in great shape. See what I did there? Laurie has a daughter played by Judy Greer. Again, Michael Myers affected Laurie and every relationship she's had after. Two marriages. They thought Laurie was being overdramatic at first, but when Michael pops up, I just wanted to hear an I told you so. Surprisingly, there's some humor and joy to this movie. I know joy is an odd thing to talk about in a movie like this, but it, it comes across as a reverence for the source material. And there's an obvious respect for it. And it still delivers tension, suspense, actual legitimate scares. And the movie plays homage to the original in a few ways. Just keep your eyes open. There are references everywhere. Even references to the other sequels that no longer exist. I don't want to spoil them, but they brought some cheers and applause from the audience. And I can't remember the last time a slasher movie got me that pumped. You don't usually see lasting effects of surviving a slasher movie. And I could not look away from Jamie Lee Curtis. Her mania, her PTSD, at times she's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Others, she's giving Sarah Connor a run for her money. Usually in a slasher movie, I don't care who lives, but I really got behind Laurie. I didn't see a character written to die. A little nit I had, they disregard all but the first movie, so that seems to diminish Michael's legend. Instead of several movies worth of events and a massive body count, we're starting over with one night and five victims, 40 years ago. But don't worry, Michael gets back to work and the bodies start piling up quickly. It must be like riding a bike. There was also a bit of humor in this movie, but it never felt forced. It offered a little bit of relief from the tension, because I feel like a good horror movie shouldn't be just nonstop tension because you'll get tired of it. You should have more of a roller coaster ride where you have light moments, you have dark moments, but that's just me. I think there's room for humor anywhere. 
certainly more than the Rob Zombie version, which was a bleak, joyless nightmare. It sets up just enough to introduce it to new audiences, but it moves fast enough to not bore audiences already familiar with the franchise. When Laurie finally gets to confront Michael, it's pretty epic. It's about revenge as well as about closure. I'm not going to tell you who wins. The conclusion is still satisfying. It provides closure and it ends the story, but it leaves possibilities. In other words, it ended without baiting a sequel that may or may not come. The filmmakers were just focused on making this a great movie rather than trying to set up a future project. I'm giving Halloween 2018 four Bs. I enjoyed it. It lives up to the original, it keeps enough elements to stay connected to the franchise, it updates Laurie's character in a believable and sympathetic way, and it propels the story forward. It still uses some of the usual horror slasher movie tropes, but the rest of it just feels refreshing enough to that I don't mind them. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. You know, all that stuff. What'd you think of the movie? Let us know in the comments. This is The Newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Happy Halloween. Toodles. He's right behind me, isn't he?